In this video, I will explain the difference between a irregular pitch and a bastard roof. And uh, I know that's a strange word to use, and I don't know where it came from. So we're just going to refer to it as an irregular pitched roof. And this is nothing more than a roof that's going to join to another roof with two different pitches. For example, here we have an 8 and 12 roof pitch, and over here we have an 8 and 12 roof pitch. So when this section joins to this section, then most of the angles are going to be the same. For example, the valley connection line here will be different with a larger pitch or a smaller pitch. So this would be a standard method of roof framing. This one right here would be the irregular or the bastard pitch. And most people don't have a problem building this as long as it fills over the roof. So you could build your roof with the rafters and the sheathing to where it will die into a section of the roof. However, this does become more difficult when you might have a cathedral ceiling, something that's going to be a little more complicated for the roof framer. So again, an 8 and 12 roof pitch for both of these. And you can see the difference here. This is a 12 and 12 roof pitch. And again, you can see the difference in the valley connection lines. And the last one on the end is a 4 and 12 roof pitch. And if we bring it to the end and we want this angle of the roof to line up with this angle of the roof, then you can see again where we're going to need to lower this roof pitch here to match it to this one here. And in that example, we would have a 8 and 12 roof pitch on this side and on the other side over here. However, this side of the roof would need to match the 4 and 12 that we would be using on this side here. Now this type of framing isn't going to be as common as this type of framing here to where we have a lower pitch on this side and a steeper pitch on this side. And now for the question that you might be asking and that would be why would somebody go through the trouble and do something like this? And about the only thing I could think of would have something to do with some type of an exterior detail or you might be working with a room on the inside that needs a little more headroom. For example, if this was going to be a two-story house. And now you have a pretty good idea what a bastard or irregular pitched roof looks like. So let's go ahead and wrap the video up with any questions or comments you might have that can be left in the comment area. And let's not forget to hit the thumbs up or the like button if you enjoyed or learned something from the video.